Alright, in this tutorial we're going to be learning how to use public variable server and add public variable event handler so that way we can pass a variable from our client here to the server and have pretty much whenever it receives it we can do what we want with it. So for now we just have our client or player whatever and we're gonna go over here and we can see here the syntax for public variable server. So we have the variable ctf score one and put the command here so we're going to make this send a variable from our client to the server and the server is going to output a message that we will be able to see so let's go ahead and just make a simple add action player add action uh, send message go ahead and make it neat Mod. send this message equals this is my message we're going to be sending this here to our server keep in mind you cannot send local variables so if you tried it with this it just quite frankly wouldn't work so we have a global variable send this message with our string in it we're going to use public variable server then inside of quotations we're going to be typing in our variable name so in this case it is send this message now when the player clicks this it is going to send this to the server but the server is not going to be able to do anything with it right now because it doesn't have an event handler to take this in so we have where it says send this message go ahead and just paste it in here and here's where we look at add public variable event handler. I'm going to go ahead and copy this because it's a lot to type. Now, in order for it to run, we have the variable name, which would be send this message. Then we have add public variable event handler. Then we have our code. Now, the variable itself, just like before, over here, it has to be inside of quotations. So go ahead and put it in quotations. And now we're ready to set up. So when it once the player presses the add action, it's going to send it to the server, and this is going to fire and run whatever is inside of these brackets. Now, here's where we also use the select command again, except in this case it's a little bit different. We're still going to be using select, but we're going to be using select one. Because if you do select zero, you're going to get this name here. You're not going to get what it's actually sent. So we can have make a local variable message make it equal to this select one. Now that we have that we can do just a hint format. Actually let's just do hint string. Never mind because it is a string. Then we're just gonna hit message. So go over here. I'm just using this as the example so I don't have to put up the actual server again. Scroll wheel, send message. This is my message. Now if you wanted to run this on a dedicated server where normally the player would not actually be able to see that message at all. So we would use what we did before, remote execution. Except in this case we're going to be using actually let's just do remote execution, we'll save that for another video. So we have our parameter here so we have message remote execute then we have the function which is hint then we want to run it on all just every machine so we're going to use zero by default then we want it to be true for join and progress players so now you can get the same result here as well without actually having to put it up However, it's just a little bit more reliable to test on a dedicated server. Send message, still sends it. We go over here, and we save and export our mission so we can test on a dedicated server. Whoops. Go ahead and run our server.
goodness. Wait for it to appear. Now, when we click it on the client, it's going to broadcast that message globally. So now where it says this is my message and a hint, every machine, every person, every computer, they're going to see that message. So that's all for this tutorial. We will be moving on to public variable client next, and we will be using that as kind of our base ground because we're going to be using NADBI2 so we can learn how to create a little bit of kind of like a database so we can save our players gear, whatever they pick up, we're going to make some custom variables such as money or kill so we can have like a little stats chart and that kind of thing so when the player leaves and joins back those stats are regained to him, his gear is regained to him and his position so look for that in their features <laughs>